Who invented this? Just buy a sewing machine. I know. Hey everybody, I'm Ganarola here today with... Mom. And you're watching Handmade Tested, the series where we put past handmade projects to the test. Today we'll be knitting without any special tools, but... Oh, arm. B-Y-O-A. Let's get testing! So to make your own arm knit basket, you'll need 50 yards of extra bulky yarn. Do you know how to regular knit? No. <laughs> kind of take about two yards for your tail. Okay, so we grab the ends and double them up, just like that. Okay. So you just twist, pull through. This is a classic knot. Twist. Twist. And, and pull. What happens after I twist? No, I don't Where know which one she pulled it. That's why. See, was she pulling it from the working gear or from the <laughs> tail? I can't even get past step one. Take your tail and make another loop with the end of the tail facing you. So just kind of hold it in your right hand, hold the top of the loop. Now, left hand, reach through, grab your working yarn and pull it through. Now slip that onto your wrist. So you twist. You're taking it from working. No, you take make the loop first before you put in your arm. Okay. You make a loop first. <laughs> okay, I had it before. I had it when the camera was off. Now the camera's on, I can't do it again. Make a loop. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, and then twist. Yeah, yeah. Pull that thing here. No, you don't put your arm first. You make a loop, okay, facing you, yeah, yeah, okay. and your left arm, yeah. no, from here. Oh. Now go in here and pull the, the working, working yard. yard. Okay. Now put the working yard, let go this one, and then put your hand in there. There, see? Well, you have to make seven of them. What? All right, so that's three, we need four more. Excellent. People ask you if you know how to knit, and you'll be like, only arm knitting, sorry. I need a supervisor. Can you watch this for one more second and then I'm gonna figure it I out. I don't even know myself. <laughs> <laughs> Does that look right? Yeah, that's <laughs> Well done. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this off my arm. We're just making a sweater today. That's yes. what's happening. So we have cast on seven stitches. Okay, so now grab your working yarn in your left hand and you want to loop it right over your right thumb. Okay. And you're grabbing it in a fist. So grab the working yarn in your left hand and loop it around your right thumb. Take the yarn that's in your fist, give it a half turn, which really just turn it towards your, your left hand and slip it over your left hand. Okay, grab the first stitch here. Yeah. No, the first one that we did. No, here, not the back here going. Okay, then we pull it over. Yeah, and then put it here, and she said. On your left hand? <laughs> and do. Did I do this right? I cannot see it, I don't know. Working yarn, put it in your thumb. No? Again? Yeah. So we just did our first row. All right. We need to do 13 rows. Oh. So we're basically transferring everything from the right arm to the left arm. Is that what's happening? Yeah. All right. I'm just going to invent a method that makes sense. Ah, I think All I'm right. doing it right here. Take it out. Yes. Yes, it's very simple. I'm, I'm on my last stitch. Okay. So. Oh, did you? Oh, you're already done? Yes. That yes, actually I'm looks like something. Oh, no. It doesn't well, look. Well, you got something here. Just okay. something it's not tight. All right, well, I'm on my last row. You want 13 rows to make a small basket. I can make a blanket. That actually looks make pretty good. Small. Meanwhile, over here, well, almost. We've got some knots and some holes. That's not bad, though. No, it's don't lie. <laughs> Grab the first stitch on the first of your new stitches, pull it over the second and off of your wrist. Okay. Okay. So we're down to the last loop. Okay. Slip I'm it off. Slip it off. Grab your tail. Just a minute. Slip it off. I'm explaining this to you as if I know what's happening. So now we have a rectangle of knitted deliciousness cool. oh that gosh, I just want to like so... curl up in. It actually looks pretty good. Not bad. Compared to mine. No, yours is good and full. <laughs> it's a giant hole here. Just grab your yarn and slip it through alternating loops. We're looking for holes and luckily 
My basket has a lot of them. Maybe next the 10 ones will be better. I think so. This is yeah. just the rehearsal. This is the first one, so. And if at first you don't succeed, we try again. Exactly. So now our last step before it becomes a basket is to turn it inside out and take your other tail. And we are going to work this through alternating stitches and then we're going to cinch it and it's going to cinch like a duffel bag. Then you can snip that off. All right, the bottom is cinched. Let's make it into a basket. Fold the top down. And now you just kind of want to shape it into our basket. Put it upside down and then pull it down. Well, the yours is, it is better. It's yours full. actually looks like a basket. But yours is Mine, nice and full. Mine is... I mean, it looks like an upside down hat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if that works. Wow. I think this material. Too. Yeah, we might have picked the wrong yarn. If you have any tips, let us know in the comments below. Give it a try yourself. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Stay crafty. Bye.